setting up for a hernia over pig. When you open the pack, you want to make sure you grab the edges. Pull down the sides. Same thing on this side. Grab the edges. Usually below the table is the best. Pull down the sides. I usually like to tuck that in so it's not so. Boom, boom. Table ready to go. We've got a bogey. Open it, make sure you want to grab one edge, grab the other edge. Suck the arm. Got our lack of rotting here. You start with the flap away from you, then the sides, and then the flap closest to you. Demonstrate that again. So to open it up, you want to start with the flat. It's furthest away. Tuck it under your hand there. Flat to the right, tuck it. Flat to the left, tuck it. And flat closest to you. Alright. You got a pen room with rain. up your gown on another surface. It's not good to open it up on your table. You don't want to risk contaminating your table by gowning off of your table. No talk to you. Talk to the camera. I'm doing a, a little vlog. Something for the surgical tech students that are out there, you know? A little education, a little education. We got our blades, 215 blades. We'll open those up onto the field. All right, and then we have our minor track. So you want to make sure that the indicators are turned. Check the tabs. It up, lift up, and check the filter at the top. Make sure it doesn't have any holes in it. Pretty much all that we need is there. All right, we'll scrub in, and we'll be right back. That'll be really cool. You're gonna have makeup pack there? I have an idea. You just need, thank you. You just need the equipment. Alright, so after scrubbing, come in. Grab your gown. I like to save this paper on it. Use it for my roll towel. You can tie me up with it?
this thing covered. Put your hands under the cuffs. Put your body against the drape so it doesn't try to hit the deck when it's unraveling. You can tuck in the extra drape underneath the mirror standing there. You put a towel up on there. So yeah, this ain't too crazy of a setup. This is just for a hernia. What kind of hernia is it though? Angular. For an inguinal hernia. So we got minimal supplies for this. The table is not too exciting, but we've got a few things here. Whenever you're counting your needles, you want to make sure that you open them up and just make sure that they're in there because occasionally you know, the manufacturer can mess up. We might not even have a needle in the pack. Thank you so much. Man. There was one time where I opened up a, uh, not like a safety blaze, but a regular blade pack. Yeah. And there was two blades in the pack. Really? I was like, yo, wow. So you never know. I got some local here for you. Okay. It's half point five left hand plane. Fires. Thank you so much. So that it came to and mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. at five. Yep. Clean. Sounds good. Thank you so much, bro. Stuff here. You gotta write your medications as soon as you, you get it. You don't want to hesitate and wait and, and forget what it is that you got or label the medication wrong. You don't want to experience any type of confusion when it comes to meds. Boom. 
put my suction on the mask in. Sharps container. Put my blades in there, my hypo in there. Put this in the same thing once I get it. Last but not least, it's just organizing my stringer and my instruments from this minor track. So make this stringer. I like to make a pretty tight little towel. That's how my teacher taught me. I put one of these inside of the towel. And then just roll it best as possible, as tight as possible, so that my instruments aren't rolling around on there. Because it's a small case and we're not going into any deep cavities, we don't have to count instruments. So we just count the softs and sharps. He likes to use regular towels, four regular towels instead of these sticky towels, so I just have those ready just in case. And then just get a couple instruments ready to put on the mayo stand that we're going to use. I think we're probably going to use some hemostats, along with maybe Alice, Babcock. Of course, we're going to need our needle drivers, so. Pull those out. Maybe these mats and the suture scissors for sure. Right. As far as attractors, I think we might need some riches, army navies to start. And as far as forceps, we'll probably need some babies. Maybe some accents. Definitely got to load up our blades onto the knife handles. And then everything else we'll kind of see as we go. For now, I'm going to put my drapes actually into here. That way they're easily accessible. Let's say, oh, hey, sir, how are you? Let's say I'm doing something at the table and I'm talking to the camera so it doesn't look like I'm crazy. Um, let's say I'm doing something at the table and they want to drink, then you kind of wheel the basin over to them so that they can keep working. Get these towels ready. talking to the camera and making videos, they'd be looking at me like, who are you talking to? I'm talking to my subscribers, man. I think we're good to go. I'm gonna scrub it too. You want me to grab my gloves? Sure. Yeah, grab, grab. Thank you so you much. A um a gallon would be great. Okay. Along with the four towels you want to throw in some tacos to go with it. Alright. You got the suction and the bobby up here. Throw these forceps up there. Throw these blades up there. Couple of these non-penetrating tap 
steps that would be for the booby and the suction to put it onto the drape, secure it onto the drape so that we don't lose it throughout the case. I don't even know what to do with that. 